if you want to know how the church can grow in numbers and spiritually, and we have a great principle in the Bible. We don't need to do any magic. We don't need to attract people. Just do what the Lord says. And if you want to know how we can grow as a church, as a local church, how we can grow in numbers and also spiritually. Please turn in your Bibles to Acts chapter 2, verses 42. Verses 42 through 47. How often God was adding the same words to the church? How often? God's word says here daily. I want you to notice that word. Daily, God was adding the same ones to the church. What was they doing so that the Lord was adding the same ones to the church? The church was growing in numbers. What were they doing? Look at verse 42. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to the fellowship and to the breaking of bread and to prayer. The word devoted uh, is a translation of a Greek word and uh, which means to attend constantly. In other words, in First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, we see there, pray without ceasing. That's the same meaning intended here by the word devoted. The first church, they, without ceasing, did something significantly. So, what did they do? We can see there, they worshipped God without ceasing. What is worship? Today, people change the meaning of the word worship. 
talk to each other, wish each other, ask them how are they doing. And uh, what else their worship included? The breaking of bread. This communion, uh, depending on the church uh, schedule, uh, some churches, they, every, every Sunday they have communion, some other churches once a month, some other churches maybe quarterly, that means once in uh, three months or four months, some churches once a year. Someone asked me, how often we have to have break, uh, breaking of bread in our church? How often? Is it, uh, you know, uh, uh, nine and nine? Night or you can, it's up to you, but before you forget, before you forget what is communion, you try to have communion. So, it should be often and people should not forget the purpose of communion. If you participate in communion, you are not going to get extra grace. Extra grace. Then why we have to take? Why we have to participate? It is to remember the sufferings, the death, burial, the resurrection, and the return of Christ. And uh, participate in breaking of bread without any blame. That shows your right relationship with the Lord. What else our worship should include? There you see again prayer. What were they praying about? Did they pray for uh, uh, material, the, the increase of their material? Did they for, pray for money? Or did they pray for uh, uh, the children's uh, uh, jobs? Think about the situation which they were in at that time. The main prayer was about the salvation of their own people. Should be the priority of in, in our prayer. We need to pray for our family members and their salvation. We need to pray for our friend's salvation, neighbor's salvation, our relative's salvation. So pray for the needs of the people. And uh, what is prayer? It is just talking to our Heavenly Father. Our children come to us and ask for their needs. I need that, Daddy, uh, Mommy, I need this. Just like that. And we go to our Heavenly Father and ask, Father, I need this. Would you grant that to me? Okay, 
ஆண்டவருடைய சங்கத்திலே போய் பரலோகத்து தேவனை நோக்கி நாம் கேட்பதுதான் ஜபம் and our god is not a deaf god agar nammudi aandal orupodum kaadu kelaadavar alla if you say with faith one time he hears our prayer agar nam viswasathode jebikira ovvoru jagamaliyum avar kettukonde irukkar we need to believe that when we talk to god and uh, express our need we need to believe that god will answer agar devan enakku kodupar endru solli viswasathode kettukudiyadhan jagam our prayer should not be like the uh, the, the 400 prophets of baal naan oru paagathil irukkira seegalai pole nammai jagam irukka koodadhu our prayer should be like the prayer of elijah eliyavai pole nam over naal jebikiravarla irukka vendum he just stood alone and prayed and asked god to do a miracle there and god did it eliya engaravan thanniyuravai nindri devan nokki jagam pannina devan nadathile adbhudangalai seidhar vaanathil thakini irakkinar god will hear our prayers and we need to believe agave nam over naal jebikka vendum nam jebikira kaarigalai vishwasikka vendum vishwasathode jagam pannum so our worship should include all these things teaching and preaching of god's word and fellowship bringing up bread prayer and there are many other spiritual activities appo adavu devudi aaradhana endru appo sudhe upadeshangal irukka vendum anniyam irukka vendum adavu aikyam irukka vendum appo pikkadhil irukka vendum javam pannadhil irukka vendum idellaa uruthiya therindhu irukka vendum and if you read verse 41 there you see 3000 people got saved on the day of pentecost and they were baptized they were added to the church nathu ondra vasanathil vasikrom avudi vaarthai santoshamai yetu pennavargal yanasana pettargal annai dinam yerakudi 3000 pe serthu kollapattargal so our worship should include baptism agave nammudi aaradhanile yanasana or pagudhiya irukka vendum what is baptism yanasana endral enna some people believe that you know through baptism they can be saved agave nadhi pe nenikiranga nam rakshikapatta nadayalame so people believe that they can they can be saved through baptism a jnana sthanathin moolamai rakshikapadalam endru nenikiraargal baptism will not save us agave jnana sthanam edukkuvathu nammai rakshikkullaga kadathadi then why baptism agave yen nam jnana sthanam edukkom it shows our obedience to the lord's command agave devude vaarthikku nam keerpadikrom endrade thuri padukkirathu always uh, you know tell these three reasons why a believer has to be baptized agave or vishwasi yen jnana sthanam edukkavendum endru moonru kaaryangal naan solluven number one reason it is to confess our faith or not. it is to uh, confess jesus in public naan mudhalaga kaaram enna endral poduvaga ella mathilayum naan yesu christu vishwasikiren endrai naan solugiren Uh, then you don't say I am believing in Jesus. You say you you will publicly say that I already believed in Jesus as my Savior. Now in public I am saying that. Agave, na yet kada me yeshi Christu Yeshua sitra kire Yeshu me yetho mandu bitte ni pordu vedi pade yaga. Yella ek mandu yaga ni Yeshua sitra na arik kiri kire ni suli na asana pade kro. Number two is to identify ourselves with the burial and resurrection of Jesus. Agave, anda bara ni yeshi Christu diye. மரணத்தை அவருடைய அடக்கத்தை அவருடைய உயிர்த்தெழுதலை நாம் நிலத்திலே நினைவு கூறுகிறோம் the third reason is to have membership in a local church அங்கே நான் இங்க இருக்கிற ஸ்தல சபையிலே நான் ஒரு அங்கமாக ஐக்கியமாக இருக்கிறேன் என்பதை வெளிப்படுத்துகிறது because local church is the body of believers who are baptized அங்கே தேவனுடைய சபை என்பது ஞானஸ்தானம் எடுக்கப்பட்டு இருக்கிறதானே விசுவாசிகளுடைய ஐக்கியமாக இருக்கிறது and to be a member in such a local church a believer has to be baptized agave samay pullaga irukkira ovvoru varum kandippai jnana sthanam eduthukka vendum these are the main three reasons why a believer or a saved one needs to be baptized agave jnana sthanam edukkiradhukku inda moonru kaaranangal mukkiyama irukkirathu baptism should be a part of our worship agave nammudi aaradhanigalai jnana sthanam endru oru angamaga irukka vendum and also if you read verse 43 and uh, there is an important words நாற்பத்தி மூன்றாம் வசனத்திலே ஒரு வார்த்தை மிகவும் முக்கியமாக சொல்லப்படுகிறது எல்லாருக்கும் பயம் உண்டாயிற்று அப்ப சிலகாலே அநேக அற்புதங்களும் அடையாளங்களும் செய்யப்பட்டது அப்போ சிலர்கள் அநேக அற்புதங்களும் 
தங்களை அடையாளங்கள் செய்தார்கள் வியாதியத்தங்களை சுகமாக்கினார்கள் did they just uh, promote themselves avargal oru podum thangalai kundile padathave illai but today many people you know they pray and uh, the sick people are healed and wonders are happening miracles are taking place but these people the, the people who are praying they take advantage of that and they promote themselves agave indik anega adha vyadhi sallukaga chebikkirargal devan arpana seigirar devan anega adhisayangala seigirar pirpadi avargal devanukku magime seduthama thangalai kundile padithirargal and uh, they even use this this kind of things and for their you know for making money even agave nadil per idan moolamai panam sambadhikkirargal but apostles when they perform the miracles when they heal the sick they lift up jesus as the savior agave andavaraga yesu christu maatrame uyirthinar eppadalla appadalla nadacho appadalla thangala munnile padithaar padi devane munnile padithinar devana magile padithinaanga we are not doing this miracles with our ability but we are doing this miracles in the name of jesus it is jesus doing so he is the savior so believe in him agave andavaraga yesu christu dhan arpanam seidar endru devana magile padithinaanga thangude thiramaiyile thangude kaalathagaleyo avargal munnile padathave illai so use miracles wonders and the healings as evangel evangelism or for evangelistic purpose agave inda arpana adiyalangal edarkaga kodukapadukiradhu endral எப்படியான சுவிசேஷம் எல்லாருக்கும் போக வேண்டும் என்பதற்காக தான் do not stop with the miracles present jesus as the savior to the people ஆக அற்புத அடையாளத்தோட சபை இன்னைக்கு நின்று விட கூடாது கண்டிப்பா தேவனுடைய வார்த்தையை சொல்லி தேவனுடைய சுவிசேஷத்தை சொல்லி சபைக்குள்ளாக புது விசுவாசிகளை கொண்டு வர வேண்டும் present jesus as the savior to the people ஆக இயேசு கிறிஸ்து தான் இரட்சகர் என்பதை நாம் இன்னைக்கு சொல்ல வேண்டும் satan is deceiving many people அநேக நேரங்களிலே பிசாசாரம் நிறைய மக்களை வஞ்சித்து கொண்டே இருக்கார் you know god does miracles and satan uses those miracles to deceive the people and minimize uh, you know or uh, or make make the people to forget jesus as the savior ஆக இன்னைக்கு தேவன் அற்புதம் செய்கிறார் ஆனால் பிசாசாரம் அதை ரொம்ப அட்வான்டேஜா எடுத்துக்கிட்டு இன்னைக்கு தேவனுடைய மகிமை குறைத்து முடியாது <laughs> only when they cheat when they accept jesus or believe in jesus as a savior will be saved agave endukku endha enna makkal aandavaraga yesu christu viswasikkirargalo yesu christu dhaan rakshakar endru nambugirargalo avargal maathrama dhaan rakshikapadapudiyum if a person is healed he won't be saved unless he believes in jesus as the savior yesu christu viswasikkama ethana adbhudangal nadandhalum avan viswasiyaga maarapadiyadhu you know what is the best miracle மிகவும் முக்கியமான நல்ல ஒரு அற்புதம் என்ன என்று சொன்னால் நம்முடைய நம்ம வாழ்க்கையில் நடந்த மிக முக்கியமான அற்புதம் என்பது சால்வேஷன் நாம் பெற்றுக்கொண்ட ரட்சிப்பு தெர் இஸ் நோ அதர் மெரக்கல் பெட்டர் தேன் எ பர்சன் கெட்டிங் சேவ்ட் ஆகவே நாம் ரட்சிக்கப்படுவது தான் நமக்கு நடந்ததான மிகப்பெரிய அற்புதம் அதை விட வேற ஒரு பெரிய அற்புதம் நடக்கவே இல்லை ஓன்லி அவர் சால்வேஷன் கேன் டேக் அஸ் டு ஹெவன் நாட் தி மெரக்கல்ஸ் அகே அற்புத அடையாளங்கள் நம்மை பகவத்து கொண்டு போகாது நம்மளை ரட்சிப்பு தான் நம்மை பகவத்து கொண்டு போகும் மிரக்கல்ஸ் ஆர் ஜஸ்ட் ஃபார் இவேஞ்சலிஸ்டிக் परपஸ் அகே அற்புத அடையாளங்கள் எதுக்குனு சொன்னா தேவனுடைய சுவிசேஷம் எப்படியாவது எல்லாரும் பரவ வேண்டும் என்பதற்காக பிரசன்ட் we need to we should not forget uh, presenting jesus as a savior அகே ஒரு நாள் மறந்து விட கூடாத இயேசு கிறிஸ்துவை உலக ரட்சகராக அறிமுகப்படுத்திக் கொண்டே இருக்க வேண்டும் and uh, if you read Again, uh, verse 44, 45, 46. There you see the rich people are selling their property and their possessions uh, and all what they have, and they are giving to the poor. Again, you know, verse 44, 45, 46. Again, you see the rich people are selling their property and their possessions and giving to the poor. Again, you know, verse 44, 45, 46. Again, you see the rich people are selling their property and their possessions and giving to the poor. 
அவைகளை எல்லாரையும் பகிர்ந்து கொடுத்தார் என்று வாசிக்கிறோம் டோன்ட் மிஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் திஸ் திஸ் ஆக்டிவிட்டி டன் பை த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சர்ச் அண்ட் சம் பீப்புள் தே கிளைம் தி கம்யூனிஸ்ட் தே கிளைம் யூ சி ஹியர் ரிச் பீப்புள் ஆர் கிவிங் டு த புவர் அண்ட் தே வாண்ட் டு மேக் எவ்ரி ஒன் ஈக்குவல் ஆகவே கம்யூனிஸ்ட் மக்கள் சொல்கிறார்கள் அதாவது இது எவன் எவனுக்கு நிறைய இருக்கிறதோ அவன் மற்றவங்களுக்கு கொடுத்து எல்லாரையும் சமமாக நினைக்கணும் அப்படின்னு சொல்கிறாங்க அந்த ஆதி திருச்சபை இப்படிப்பட்ட ஒரு காரியத்தை செய்கிறது and uh, that's not communism agar adhi communist illa pannaanga na yaar nariya irukko avanga machavulukku la kodutu ellathiyum ore sari samamai maatinaargal communist do it by force agave communist vandu epovume adhe oru visayaga adhe oru undu sakthiyaga seigiraan you know they are put there by force they take the money from rich people and give to the poor nalla periya periya aalukal undu kattaya pidithi kaasa pudiki அதாவது <laughs> <laughs> and you see here the first church they love the, their neighbors they love with their love they gave to the needy people agave matha makkale avargal nesithargal porichil unavargalai paarthargal avargalukku amma nesithaanga aage avargal kodutargal how many rich people today which believers are giving to the needy aga ethrai panakkaragal aage neengal indru matha avargal koduthirukkeenga konja yosithu paarga but we have to கண்டிப்பா ஒரு <laughs> there was praise age avargal mathile oru nandi unarvu kaanapattathu devanagi kettrukku nandi seluthinaargal endra na vaasikkiyum and uh, praising god praising god and enjoying the favor of all the people age avargal devanagi kettrai thudithaargal janangal ellarathileyum daiva petrundaargal endra vaasikkirom because they were worshiping god enendal avargal devane aaradhithaargal their worship included sharing helping giving all those things agave aaradhana enbadhu mattavargal kodukkirathu mattavargal neshikkirathu mattavargal udavi seigirathu idhu dhaan aaradhanai oru pogudhi people inside the church and outside of the church they saw this and that's why you know the christians or the early church they had the favor of people even outside of the church agave sabaikulla maathram illa sabaikku veliye irukkiradhaana ella janangalukittayum andha sabaikulla irukkira janangalukku oru dayam kedaithathu irakkam kedaithathu i met a uh, group of uh, believers or group of uh, i mean uh, there's a kind of uh, you know church or congregation if you say that you know i am also you know from your denomination and immediately they love each other and they they help each other but they ignore other christians or or kuripitta or thirjavai paarthen avargal andha sthavanathil irukkira vishwasigala maathram nesippaanga avargalukku maathram udavi seivaanga avargalukku maathram ella kaariyam seivaanga matra aalugala paatha and uh, they introduce themselves when they meet you know somewhere you know, in a meeting or somewhere uh, uh, are you a, are you a believer yes i am a believer okay which church you go okay i i also go to the same kind of church and so they help each other and they ignore other believers agar once like koi putta janangal putsa or aala paathona ninga yaarku mobilenna ninga endha sabhiki poringa adhe sabhiki da naan vandu அப்படி சொல்லி அவங்களுக்குள்ள மாத்திரம் தான் உதவி செய்வாங்க அவங்களுக்கு 
That's not the way true believers should be. They should help anyone who is in need. So, our worship should include all these spiritual activities. There should be teaching of God's word. Sometimes it is used as preaching of word. And there should be fellowship. There should be baptism and lots of prayer. There should be prayer. Our worship also should include evangelism. Our worship also should include giving and helping and sharing. Our worship also you know, should include singing and uh, praising God. And our worship also should include even baby dedication and marriages, funerals, and uh, you know all every spiritual activity. Even birthday celebration can be part of worship. So all these spiritual activities done by a local church are part of worship. But how God adds people to the church? When we worship God without ceasing, God without ceasing adds saved ones to the church. Never be tired in, 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 uh, in participating in all these activities. Do it without ceasing. Without ceasing, God will do it. There is no magic that we can do for the church growth. Just do it. Do what the Lord says. Just worship God without ceasing. God will add the same ones without ceasing. Let's have a word.